So in painting this portrait of Whirling Horse, a Native American, I really wanted to keep the focus in the face because this face tells a tremendous story. It's got a great history. And so I really wanted to capture the detail. So what I like to do in the case of the face and the focal point is use a smaller type brush. I'm using a synthetic size 10 flat brush. I'm going to really hit a light area. So I'm mixing a red with a yellow and some white. It's kind of been grayed down by this uh, umber and this blue. And so creating a nice little harmony. And then I'm going to come in. I'm trying to keep the values closer together, as you can see, by creating some reds right around that green. And you've heard me talk in previous videos about putting uh, complementary colors next to each other uh, helps create more a more heightened sense of realism. Okay, so when I'm trying to keep the rest of the painting loose uh, and more abstract, I'm going to use just this really cheap brush I got at Ace Hardware. And uh, I'm just going to mix a nice grade color and I'm going to keep it really thick in the headdress. So I'm gonna, I'm mixing some blues and some browns. I'm gonna throw in some white. And I wanna find a nice, I'm, this is liquid right here. So it thins it. And I'm holding it, the brush like this, and I'm just kind of playing around. This is the fun part. But I'm, I'm just keeping this area really loose. I'm not really concerned about hitting all the details. I just want to keep the values close together. Okay, so finally, if I, when I'm going big, I'm going to use a bigger brush. And again, I just got this at Ace Hardware, and it's a really cheap brush. Uh, but I want to really capture some texture, and I want to keep it thick. So again, I'm, I'm mixing some blues, browns. Again, keeping that color harmony by really mixing all the colors. I'm keeping it really gray, the making it a really nice earth tone. I'm going to mix in some liquid and then pop with a really thick texture. I don't even, I'm just playing. That's all I'm doing. And just making sure that I get some really good texture on the outside. I hope that I've been able to achieve the focal point again in the face. Again, with the small brush, keeping it tight. And then as you expand out, really loosening it and keeping the texture really thick by going up with bigger brushes in the headdress. And I'd like to invite you to please subscribe so that you can get more content. We'll discuss things like value, texture, paint brushes, mediums, types of oil paints, how to achieve realism, how to make paintings really tight, how to loosen them up. These are all things I'd like to bring to you, so please subscribe. Thank you.